and welcome to a new video on successful living. Today I'm making a video about all my boss essentials, things that I love using as an entrepreneur, as a self-employed person. I have been working for myself for about three years now and during those three years I have accumulated some items that make my life either easier or better and you know happier and I wanted to share those things with you today. Let's start with the most important one. It's a good cell phone. I have the iPhone X. I know it's very old at this point, but it really works well for me, especially the fact that I use iCloud. I don't, you know, I don't have any problems with storage or anything. The software is good enough um, for all the apps that I use, which are like a lot of apps. And I talk about these like my favorite apps, the things that you should, the tools that you should use to save time and all of that stuff on my channel. But I really think that a good cell phone that you can actually, you know, if you're an online entrepreneur, you might film with it or create content with it, generally accessing your project management tools, your, you know, bank tools or bank apps or anything like that. Basically what I'm trying to say is I run my business on my phone sometimes and having a good phone is really, really important if you're a self-employed person. That's what I'm trying to say. If you're curious about my favorite tools lately that save me a lot of time, I'm gonna link that video down in the description so you can go ahead and watch that one after this. Okay, what is next? Of course, my planner. This is so crucial to me, so crucial for my work, so crucial for my life. This is basically my life. This is my personal assistant. Why I'm saying this is, of course, I'm, I'm a planner person. I love planning on paper and electronically together. But the thing is, I think every entrepreneur or every boss should have a system like this, online or offline like this, where they can write all of their lists, all of their, you know, um, resources, and most importantly, the processes of the business that they're involved in or that they're, or that they're running. I have outlined every single process in my business in this planner. If I die tomorrow, somebody could actually run my business with this, just that. It, it has my, you know, YouTube editing checklist, it has my coaching process, like how I onboard clients, it has my healthcare consultancy process, like everything is outlined in this one. And basically, all I have to do is to refer this. It's also great for keeping meeting notes if you have to follow up on these or if you want to, you know, remember what happened. Mine has a different, like mine has so much in it. Um, if you're interested, I can make a full video about the, the flip of the, of the planner that I use. But like I said, it is an essential to me. I think planners and especially the processes that you have written down in your planners um, is really crucial when it comes to growing your team because what I will do is um, when I have a full-time assistant, I will just give out these you know pages where I've written down my processes so that that person can just follow them and I don't have to train um, them so much, if that makes sense. So this is an essential for me. I don't know what I would do without this. And I highly recommend paper planning. I have talked about this as well. It makes your brain work differently. Um, so a planner is a must in my opinion. Next is also another kind of paper um, accessory. Yeah, I know it is the same exact design as the planner I showed because these are both from my planner um, and lifestyle accessories brand, Get Estilo. This is actually not a product that you can purchase because this is a prototype that I have created for myself and see if I really get use out of this and then I will decide if I want to, um, you know, put it out as a product. But this is basically a file folder thing with zipper. This is what it is. I love this for meetings. I take, I, I designed this for meetings. Obviously I've seen similar things to it, but this has more style um, and a little bit different functionality to it than the ones that I've seen so far. You can take notes on a piece of paper. You can store some paper here. Business cards obviously go here. I don't know why I didn't put mine. I should after this video. And uh, you can put your cell phone normally here, but I don't do that. So this is a prototype, like I said, and I love having this with me because I think being an entrepreneur, being, an, uh, being a self-employed person or, you know, like running your own business, you should be able to show people how serious you are, how organized you are, how dependable you are. And I think the way to show it is to show like you care about the meeting, you care about the person in front of me, you care about taking notes and you do it like in the style that you want to portray. For me, it's always this 
very organized planned person um, and that is my business really so this is one thing that I really think is a huge essential if you go to networking events if you give presentations I don't like holding you know a four regular people I just just hold this and read from this if I need to which you shouldn't read read but you know check your nose um, and I, I take this to meetings and I think this will become a product in the end but this is another thing. Another um, prototype that I have created again is this traveler's notebook. I use this the same way with the um, folder. The only difference is this has a lot of like pre um, pre made you know card slots. I have added some some um, zip zipper thingies here so that you can put like receipts or notes or anything like that. I have a notebook in there and I have this area where I can put some files as well after the, the meeting. So this is more of um, a smaller version. If I don't have to have a full A4 size paper with me, if, if I'm not using a contract or a document like that, I will take this one. It takes less space, obviously. And if I have to have a document like a serious thing or a contract, I will take this one with me. And as you see, everything matches, which makes it super, I don't know, super nice, I think. Like I said, these are both prototypes, but you can find similar items online or, you know, in stationery shops. I don't know when or if these will come. Um, let me know what you think as well. I am currently working on a different product. I'm focused on this wallet planner, um, basically a pocket size planner that um, I really want to launch before, um, before New Year's. But let me know what you think about these and yeah, let me know if having these um, would be useful for you. They are very useful um, to me. Of course, when you have paper products, paper planning, this and that, a good pen is a must. And I think if you're taking notes in general, which I think you should as well, I think you should have a good pen with you. I'm gonna talk about my favorite recently, which is a erasable pen. I think that is that is just brilliant. This is the Pilot Friction Metal one in gold. I'll, I'll find a link and put it down in the description for you if you're interested. Like I said, it's erasable, it's so nice and sturdy. Like, it is an expensive pen, it's not, it's not cheap, but um, I think having a good quality pen will motivate you to write, but also it will show people that you care about you know the, the items that you choose to include in your life and in your business and I think this is a really really good example of that. Another one for basically more motivation um, and you know making things look a little bit more stylish is this Tombow uh, brush pen in 9, 942. This is a very nice nude color. I love love using this pen in my planner. I think having these luxurious and elegant looking stationery um, as a boss is really nice and it keeps me very much motivated to work so highly highly recommend these ones as well I'll find the links and put them down in the description for you okay let's talk about one thing that is electronic um, which is my mobile charger this was a gift from YouTube and it's not the best one I'm sure there are better ones out there I didn't pay for this one so I keep using it until it dies um, it charged my phone one one and a half times but it is so necessary because I, I think it's not cool if you run out of battery and people are trying to reach to you, like clients are calling you and you're just like, oh yeah, I forgot my charger. I don't think it's a really good excuse. I think as a boss, you should um, be an example of being prepared and being organized and this is a good way to start. So any mobile charger would do. Mine is just this one and I take it with me everywhere. If you're out and about, if you're meeting people all the time, if you're networking to grow your business, I think these two items are absolutely necessary. One is a mouse spray. This is a you know minty spray that is super standard. I tend to go through gum really quickly, so I think this is the best way to go for me. Um, and I've been using these for years and years, especially in dancing. They're really helpful. So. If you want to impress people with a you know fresh breath, I think this is a must. And the second thing is obviously perfume. I think smelling nice is also very important and makes a good impression all the time. So I just have this traveler thingy that I put my own perfume into this. And I think this is Christian Dior, yeah. Hypnotic poison if you were curious. And I love these having these two in my bag all the time, wherever I'm going. Even if it's not a business related meeting, I take these with me anyway because I think personal hygiene says a lot about your personality and how you do things and how you do, do things is how you do business as well. So this is another recommendation, another essential for 
every boss out there. Business cards. Now, I have to talk about this for a minute because, okay, not for a minute. The thing is, um, business cards are not necessary, necessary for many situations. If you're not meeting people in person, you don't have to have business cards. If you're just sitting up and you're not needing them, of course, you don't, you shouldn't have them. Um, for a long time, I resisted business cards, but in the end, as I started networking with, you know, people in real world, not online, I started needing them and having a really good business card. And what I mean by really good is a really interesting design. Um, mine is like very thick credit card thick. And when people take my card, they're like, wow, what a nice business card. And that is another first impression there. I love having these with me all the time. What I, what I see a lot is <laughs> another funny thing, especially when I'm at the YouTube space um, in, in London. I meet a lot of great YouTubers and it's always like, let's, let's keep in touch kind of thing. And we give each other Instagram handles. The problem I find with that or, you know, giving people your WhatsApp number or your Instagram or generally anything like that and they put it in their phones is that it's not a physical item. I don't remember who I added on Instagram last week. They're not popping up as a new person, right? And also on my contact contacts this in my phone. They just they just lost in the contacts there. So it's not like making me remember them and wanna, you know, follow up on that meeting or just send them the, send them a message, send them an email. It doesn't make that contact for me. And also on Instagram it's generally a username, not the real name, and you don't remember that username. So I think this is a better way to go if you're if the nature of your business actually you know is suitable for having a business card okay this is really really important a really good water bottle <laughs> um as an entrepreneur i know staying healthy is not priority i used to not eat healthy i used to not drink enough water um i used to not take vitamins i i used to not you know go to the gym. I, I always worked out because I'm a dancer, but you know, all of these things were second priority in my life and my body suffered through that. So having a really good water bottle is a boss essential for me. This one is actually a very affordable one, BPA free from wish.com I think. And I love this because it's two liters. If I fill this twice a day, it's four liters, it's more than enough. Um, and yeah, that's it. But of course, I'm not taking this huge thing with me when I'm out and about, this is just like insane. And I take um, another one, let me, let me just quickly get it. Yes, so I take this one with me when I'm traveling, or not traveling, when I'm, you know, going to the city, going to meetings. This is um, just a simple one that, again, was gifted from YouTube. Yeah, I use a lot of YouTube things, I know this now. <laughs> It's just a simple, you know, metal water bottle. It's really important to save the environment to have a water bottle, but also keep hydrated and stay healthy. On the topic of staying healthy as an entrepreneur, another find, but you know, it's not a new thing, is this vitamin box. I have had one of the vitamin boxes, one of these vitamin boxes forever, but the thing is, this is very nice looking. It's not clear, it's not rubbing, it's just like super, super nice. And I just noticed that I didn't take mine today, so let me just do that now. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm taking now because this video, I don't want this video to go super long, but let me know if you're interested in what I do to keep healthy as an entrepreneur, like what I do for a workout, what I take as vitamins, what I eat, you know, all that stuff. Let me know and I'll totally do a video all about staying healthy as a boss. Next, we have another health-related thing, but it is, I think, more for saving time. And I am talking about meal planning boxes. I don't do this anymore, but uh, when we were still living in Switzerland, we used to meal plan for a whole week, basically cook the, you know, lunches and dinners for the full week, freeze half of them in these, um, these containers, and put half of them in the fridge, and we were just grabbing one of these every day um, for lunch and dinner. And we didn't have to think about if we were, we will eat healthy or if we will cook healthy. We didn't have to spend time every day. It definitely saves time. And it was just like super convenient. So as an entrepreneur, and especially if you're struggling with, with time, this is a really, really good idea to invest in these meal planning 
um, containers and start actually planning your meals, cooking maybe once, maybe twice a week and not, you know, think about it. Again, there are two benefits. One is you control what you eat, so you're not getting too hungry after working for hours and hours and not noticing that you didn't eat and just grabbing a burger or whatever. And two, it saves so much time. And also three, probably a lot of money as well because there is not much waste with these things. So yeah, meal planning boxes, must. And another essential for me is having a really good work bag. This is the one that I love so much. Um, you've seen this before. If you're a friend of Successful Living and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking the button down on the left a little bit. Yeah, there. Thanks. So having a really good work bag is important for me because again, I don't want to look I don't want to look like I'm not prepared for work occasions, right? I am an I'm a professional, I'm an entrepreneur. I take my computer and work, I work at, you know, remote offices and stuff. I go to meetings and I want my bag to reflect that lifestyle. I also have a lot of equipment that I carry most of the time because I'm an online entrepreneur. But in general, having a go-to work bag, maybe you don't need something this big, maybe you don't carry a laptop, but something that is that says work, you know, something that is not super stylish. Um, I mean, it can be stylish, but you know, you know that find balance between too stylish and professional, right? So um, yeah, having a bag like this I think is definitely a must for boss ladies. But generally, you know, having a good work bag is really important for everybody who works, I think. So these are my boss essentials. I'm sure I forgot some things, but you know, if you're interested, I can also make a volume two for this. Um, if you're interested in the daily things that I use, go follow me on Instagram. I share a lot there. And let me know what your essential items are in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your recommendations so that I can go and check them out and have a little shopping spree of my own. And thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in organization, planning, entrepreneurship, motivation, and all that good stuff, I think these two videos would be perfect for you to watch after this one. And also, again, if you're still not subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Cool um, mint, fresh breath. One is a breath mint.